Hey everybody, so I'm in my bedroom right now. You can see by this image here. Um, so I haven't filmed in over two weeks. And the reason why I haven't filmed in over two weeks is because um, I haven't filmed as in I haven't even touched a camera. All the content that you've been seeing on my channel, the last maybe three or four videos or whatever, except maybe the vlog um, is... The, especially the sit down video that's all pre-filmed content so for the last two weeks aside from the last vlog i think i haven't filmed and it's because my mental health took a really big knock huge knock um and i couldn't i just i just couldn't do it um i had to take a break um, so last weekend, today's Friday, the 29th of October. So last weekend, I kind of uh, disappeared and I went over to uh, the boys' place and hung out there and just hid away there for uh, two days, three days, whatever. Um, so I needed that because I literally had a complete breakdown. I stayed away from social media. I didn't tweet anything. I didn't do anything. I barely spoke to any of my family members, friends. I just needed a moment. So I haven't filmed. That smells nice. So I haven't filmed. No, there's a diffuser right next to me. So I haven't filmed in a while. Um, but I'm much better now. Um, not all the way there yet. But I'm much better now and I'm excited because this weekend is the weekend of the uh, behind the creator space where I'll be on a panel and we're going to be discussing mental health and great because it is Mental Health Awareness Month. So we're going to be discussing mental health and we're going to be discussing, um, you know, how mental health affects us as content creators. So things like you know, cyberbullying, creating content. Meanwhile, you're struggling with mental health issues and all of that. So I'm so excited. Um, uh, it's Bison's right. Uh, the whole person, beauty being behind this whole thing is Sims right. And I've spoken about this a number of times on my channel over the last month. So you probably know about that. Um, but the, that's one exciting thing that's happening tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that, but I'm actually leaving my house today because today, uh, this weekend is a girl's weekend. So initially I was supposed to go, um, I was supposed to be in Howick with my girlfriends. We had found a place, we'd found a house and whatever, and we were ready to book and go to Howick for the weekend, which is in KZN, um, when this content creator space thing came up. Uh, we were supposed to be on a girl's vacation. So instead, my girlfriend said, nah, we want to support you. We want to be there where you're doing your thing, blah, blah, blah. So let's rather make it a staycation. So what we did is we booked a place which I'm going to be heading to now. I just need to change my outfit. By the way, I'm wearing Naledi's friend's brand, Senzo's Mugay. It's written here. Let me let me pick it up so you can see. That's written. It's Mugay right there. I'm wearing his tea today. So, from his plans. Um, so, I have just finished packing. It is quarter past two now. Um, I'm probably going to be the first one to arrive. There was supposed to be five of us uh but there's four so i'm going to be the first one to arrive because everybody pretty much knocks off late um but you'll see everybody when they arrive i took today off so i've pretty much been getting things ready so what we did is we booked an apartment in santon um the talk tomorrow is in newtown so we booked an apartment in santon we booked a three-bedroom apartment for the weekend and we've got some plans this whole weekend. Uh, we've got stuff to do. So what I'm really looking forward to is um, uh, dinner tonight. We, we're going out for dinner at Orem. We all haven't been to Orem. I'm pretty sure if you're in South Africa, more especially Joburg, Pretoria, you probably heard of Orem restaurant. Nope. Tonight, I'll probably just vlog on my phone 
and all of that so exciting so after Orem we probably gonna go somewhere for a drink uh, the two options are sand deck or the deck in Hyde Park um, if you're Josie people you kind of know all these places that I'm mentioning uh, because one of our good friends actually really needs to go out she needs a good time so we're gonna make sure that she does have a good time so this is something to look forward to uh, I'm a little bit nervous about tomorrow because I will be talking for a while before the whole panel discussion um, there's some time that's been booked out out for me to speak and to share my story so <laughs> I don't know why she trusts me with this kind of stuff. Sims, girl. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, nerves aside, I'm going to talk about this because you guys know how important mental health is to me and it is to this channel. And um, so we're going to do that. So I've just pretty much done packing. My clothes that I'm going to wear over there. I do need to pack a few more things. One or two more things. I took my big bag <laughs> for the weekend. But the reason why I did that is because with a big bag, you can pretty much fit everything in there. I don't have to take a smaller bag and then take two smaller bags. I can take one big bag and that's it. So, yeah. And, and, I'm actually thinking of starting a series on my channel. But I'm still thinking about it and going to talk to my sister about it. Because I really want to incorporate her in the series as well. But I don't understand why you people didn't put me onto China Mall. I talk about it. I think I spoke about it on my Instagram at some point, And I spoke about it on a video, I think, at some point. Rebizo go nantsa go tsama di shopa tsa ka o fela go patala 800,000 randa for muso yuan. Meanwhile, you can See, see how I'm rambling? <laughs> I'm going off. We're busy here paying all these crazy monies for clothes. Meanwhile, your your whole entire celebrities and people what 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 but I got into go China Mall and it's got nice things. So guess what I'll be wearing this whole weekend, not this whole weekend. I feel like for me, my biggest thing is that uh, what I don't compromise on is shoes and bags and sunglasses. I'm quite particular. But with clothes, um, yeah, I don't care, bro. Like, if it means um, getting a bro, no. So I needed a couple of outfits for this weekend. And um, so I decided, oh, you know what? I'm going to pop into China Mall. I did this yesterday uh, with Palisa. And I don't remember the last time I walked out with a bag full of stuff. <laughs> But they actually look really good. I tried them on and all of that. I was really, really impressed. Baby girl, go. Save your coins. Otamae, Olo Rekadinto, Ochana Molko, Dragon City. Live your best life. Okay? And leave these celebrities. If celebrities want to wear Dinto Tako China Molko, Dragon City, and then. What is the problem? Just because somebody looks as if, hey, they, they're wearing Gucci, LV, Prada, what, what, from head to toe every single day. Nobody has the time for that unless you're Beyonce or unless you're Jay-Z, okay? Nobody has time for that. Sometimes you need to balance. You need to balance out the equation, okay? As long as my back is, like, it's fine, then, uh, guys, and then I'm that person when it comes to clothes. So... There's a series that I want to start on my channel that has to do with that. But I'm working on that, still planning it, still in here. Anyway, so I've packed my bag. For the most part, I need to take my laptop as well. Where is it? Yeah, I need to take my laptop as well because I'm going to get there first. I'll do a whole entire apartment tour. There's supposed to be five of us. Now there's four and there's three bedrooms. So I'm about to get ready and we're going to go. Just, I love my grandmama hat. Right, so the bag has been packed. <laughs> it's quite full, you know, but there's, there's a bunch of clothes, okay? Yeah. And you're going to see all of these over the weekend. So it's fine. I'm not going to show you anything more than that. Um, there's, I need to pack that lens as well. I'm going to use it on the M50. And then, oh, I need to pack. I actually need to pack this, the cable as well for to charge the camera. Every time I start filming this, it's to 
but she's somebody else in the making first she's just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there but she's wondering if it's gonna fail okay, so i've packed pretty much everything and here's just drinks a bit of snacks because the other girls are gonna pretty much bring stuff as well and then i decided to just cover just the breakfast stuff um for tomorrow morning and sunday so that's pretty much that on that i'm gonna get there this vlog might really be long so let me just uh, vlog might probably be quite long so it's probably going to be split into two because there's just a lot going on today and tomorrow and i pretty much want to vlog everything because this is a very important weekend for me in the sense that i'll be talking about mental health and all of that but not only that it's just going to be a really important weekend for me because coming out of what i came out of this past um two weeks it's really, I'm really looking forward to being around people and being around my friends and being around, um, you know, people who love me and people who care for me and support me and, you know, people who are worried. When I took uh, that time out, um, I hadn't told, I think I'd only told one friend of mine uh, where I was going uh, because I was, I was, I had to tell somebody that I was with the boy, what if he killed me? I had to tell somebody that I was with the boys, so I told my mates, one friend, and the other ones kept on calling me over the weekend, and uh, he just kept on saying to me, don't answer the phone, take some time out. Uh, the only person that I was actually speaking to was my grandmother that whole time, and uh, she's been great. My grandmother really uh, came through for me. She stood up for me. She fought for me. Uh, she was the OG for the first time in a really long time. I wanted my mom, ar excuse me, I wanted my mom around because I was really struggling. And I always knew that my mom was our ultimate fighter in terms of my sister and I. And uh, I didn't have my mom around. And of course, I would, I was very, very upset at that, that I'll keep thinking about her, keep thinking about her, didn't have her around. But my grandmother, my grandmother became my fighter and she pulled through for me uh not only did i have the whole mental breakdown and whatever uh, my body started to also physically react to the fact that i was under so much strain and stress and i wasn't listening and taking some time out and whatever i started getting sick i got really sick it's when i st when it actually really started was in the last video when i was at palisa's house that following day i said to you guys i'm coming down with the flu after that everything went south of course i had uh fallouts with a few people and all of that and everything just went south uh i started not sleeping my body started reacting i was breaking out in hives i had this huge rash on my tummy huge do you understand what i'm saying huge rash on my tummy for like three or four days and i had to keep keep rubbing allergex on it i just didn't know i wasn't sleeping really well my eating habits were really terrible um not only that i was physically i got a herpes normally i do get herpes okay from time to time but this time around it hit both my lips so it hit me up top and it hit me at the bottom you might not see it now but it's it's come down quite a bit, but I can feel it's still a bit slightly bumpy. Uh, and for that reason and that reason alone, I have to wear red lips the whole weekend. I can't wear any other colored lip. I can, I can cover it up a bit, but I'm opting to go for red. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm hoping one of the other girls comes with ice because, uh, yeah. I'm going to close up the house now. I'm going to change and get ready to go. And the next footage you'll probably see is of me there doing, hopefully, an apartment tour. Oh, so exciting. 
So, pretty much done. This is my outfit of the day. Very chilled, very laid back. Can you see me? Ah. So I've got some biker shorts underneath and just a long, long top that I love because it's got pockets. So if I just wanna, I think it's hard to get posing, yeah. It's hard to get pose, pose, pose. Uh, but yeah, I really think it's pretty good. Uh, this is the first time in two, three days that we're actually having sun outside. So I'm looking forward to this weekend. It's actually going to be nice and warm this weekend. So excited. I'm going to put these away in the car. She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever. Hey, so I'm here. <laughs> can see the door behind me I'm here I've arrived great I'm the first one here as expected uh, it took me about 25 minutes to get here uh, would have taken me a little bit longer but then I had to use ways and then I had to be like you know traffic Friday afternoon that kind of thing but it's fine we're here the party is about to start first thing I want is before I show you what the apartment looks like now, first thing I want to check is do they have ice yes just for yeah yeah just for one glass just for one glass all right um, yeah so this portion this portion of the vlog will be me showing you the apartment before the girls arrive i just dropped my stuff off down here i haven't picked a room yet so how it works is it is a three-bedroom apartment with two entrances into the apartment so basically two doors to come in but there is a door that separates both the apartments but they are open so um interleading doors essentially that's what i mean so the lighting is perfect who am i um so i'm going to show you what i'm looking at and then i'm going to show you i feel like because i'm currently the planner i should pick my own room and have my own room but all right let me show you let me show you so as you come in from the front door this is what you see it's an open plan living area which i will show you from the window this way because it's pretty dark you're not going to be able to see it but if you pan this way you have the kitchen this is the main kitchen so this is the main space that everybody's going to be sitting in that joins the two rooms together so the main door is over there as you walk in first thing you see is the kitchen and then there's a little kitchenette area here not a kitchenette what is it a kitchen seating area here which is where i have all my bags and stuff that i need to unpack and as you pan this way it's a sitting area the tv is over here my bag is in the middle of the room um there's a nice view out there of santon we love it fantastic but as you turn it over as you turn around this is pretty much what you see uh, which is lovely the couch is over here there's a seat here as well and there's the tv i mean they could have done something about the lamp this is going to drive my ocd crazy come on oh wow okay Boom. <laughs> all right that's fine i'm going to sort it out just now um, so that's essentially the common room that everybody's going to be sharing and then you walk to the left is the first bedroom and this is the bedroom that's got a bathroom adjoined to it. So this is bedroom number one, which I feel personally should be my bedroom. Again, a beautiful view and as you turn, I'm pretty sure these lights are going to look awesome at night. So that's the bed, white sheets, they're speaking my language, a whole lot of wardrobe space, and of course the bathroom, which I can just switch on there. Up top, that's the bathroom. Bathroom comes with, could they have left the seat out? Okay, that's fine. Bathroom comes with a shower, 
and they're both beautiful and two sinks. Love the two sinks idea. Love it. Um, then you come out across this way. It's the common room, as I said. And then you walk into the second bedroom, which is in here. Now, this one doesn't have adjoining bathroom. The bathroom, in fact, is right across the hall. So, this is the other one where somebody else can sleep, you know. Um, and then right across is the bathroom. Again, double sinks, tub, and shower. And this spot here is where you can separate the two apartments. So you can actually close this. You can literally close that door, right? And then this whole space will be one apartment. Feel me? But because there's, we booked for five, even though there's four of us coming now, I'm gonna keep this one open. Oops, I'm gonna keep this one open. And as you walk through, this is the second entrance that we can use either way, which this part stands as one apartment. We can book this if it's just the two of you. Um, and of course, a lovely bed with white sheets. And again, another view of San Tony, okay, which is lovely. Uh, this way, you can see the TVs there. This one doesn't have a sitting area in particular, so that's fine because we're all gonna be sitting on the other side. Someone's just going to come in here to see, really. And then it's got a little bit of a kitchenette, hence why I say the entrance is that one and you can close off the other apartment to this one and make this one one for two people. So, great. Also got tea, coffee toasting station. We love it. And then it's also got its own bathroom as well. So we've got three bathrooms. And this one has a shower. I'm really, really, really excited for the girls to arrive. Balisa is probably going to be the first one here uh, because the other two girls knock off much later. So I'm going to have to wait. It's lovely. The entrance area is lovely. I just had a whole lot of things in my hands. Uh, but yeah, they have a porter and he helped me up with my stuff, my bags and all those other bags and all of that. So I will show you the entrance at some point during the weekend. I'll tell you where we're staying. Uh, we're staying at the residency in Sandhurst. And essentially what this place is, it's like, it's a bit dark in the back there, hey? But once we get the lights on, it'll be fine. So essentially it's like a, it's, it's a hotel and apartment group. So there's people who actually live here day in, day out. And then there's a section that's cordoned off for apartments for people who, you know, come here for work or for staycations or for whatever. And they just need short rental stays. If somebody's going to be staying for a month for work purposes, that kind of thing. So really, really cool. I like that because yeah, as I was at the reception area, excuse me, there were people coming in and out and you could tell that some of them were familiar with the staff and all of that. So you're assuming that those are the people that live here day in, day out. So I'm gonna unpack pack my bags. <laughs> I'm gonna unpack my bags, pour myself a drink while I wait for Palisa to bring the ice and all the other stuff. Um, chill outside for a bit. We've got a nice big balcony. So I'm gonna chill outside for a bit and hang and wait for the girls to arrive. Okay, so I just finished unpacking some of my stuff. If I'm at a place for more than one night, I have to unpack. Not everything, things like shoes and things can stay in my bag, but for things like dresses, shirts, and all of that, I kind of have to unpack it. Um, 
when I arrive. It makes things very easy for me, bathroom stuff, showering stuff, all that kind of jazz. So Balis is on her way and because this place is in the north, she should be here. She's literally down the road from here. So she should be here in the next 15 minutes or so. Okay. Who is it? Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited for the weekend. Are you kidding me? I heard you come up. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited for the weekend. Oh my god, hey. I keep looking at the viewfinder. Hey. Oh my god, girl. Strawberry jam breakfast. You got the Jaeger and I forgot it at the house. Mm -hmm. He just opened the shabba short in door 90 feet. <laughs> One would think because I'm the planner, I should I did a whole real housewife thing. Oh, wow. I was just like, let me all of them. You know how they go to a place and then they get there and then it's just like, oh my god, who's getting the room? And it's like running, running, running. And so I was just like, shit, I need to get a room. But you get in the nice round, you get in the main room, right? Yeah. Tell the people. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing a really short dress tonight. Very. You know why? It's why so is the view? Well, King Sel. King That, that, that. What's this? It's my Inverosh. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna look so sexy. Uh huh. You guys are gonna She die. is. I saw it. She's got very Carrie Bradshaw vibes. I mean, tonight. I guess. Yep. Oh my god, I'm not ready. Are you ready? I'm ah! <laughs> <laughs> not ready. I'm 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 not ready. Would you look at that? Naya with that thing again, because I've been drinking. Because I can a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, would you look at that? Are you ready? Yes. Cheers. I want to wait. Yeah. This is making me drink. Cheers. <laughs> clink, clink. Cheers, everybody. You know, it tastes like alcoholics, ne? But it's quite enjoyable. That red bull is quite enjoyable. Let me just add a little bit more because still too is far too early. And I'm not trying to get too moody today. I have to talk tomorrow. Okay? You turn to the camera? No, I'm talking to you. Cause you a bad man, you she don't love money. She break grass real fast like common. When I swim down to the deep end. When I know all my secrets, honestly. Can you keep it real cause honestly I can tell you real fond of me Baby don't be shy, I can see it in your eyes I've been running around, too bad I've been sticking out your mind I know you like your hell or I come from behind I know you stand to how you take it no more time Left, right, can you take it all the time Too bad I've been sticking out your mind I know you like your hell or I come from behind I know you stand to how you take it no more time Left, right, can you take it all the night Take it